On day one of the Outer Banks 130, heading from the Cedar Creek Campground in the middle of Core Sound, south towards Cape Lookout. Very light winds, a little before 8 o'clock this morning. Hopefully we'll pick up a little bit as the day goes on. Ahead of us, we have John Judy and his Montgomery 15. And Bill Moffat with his metallic designed Darcy Brin. And behind me, I think that's Curtis Pack and his Hobie AI and Steve Dahl, very tiny, and his Hobie TI. We also have Graham Burns back there with his Core Sound Mark III. And Robert Harden with his home-built Mayfly. So hopefully we'll have a good day of sailing. The weather looks good. Sun coming up. And it isn't going fast. But she's moving. We'll check in soon. Here we are passing one of these lovely drift nets or whatnot that they tend to litter core sound with. Not really a problem to avoid during the daylight. Certainly wouldn't want to run into one at night. And the pelicans seem to like it. And here coming up on my stern is the illustrious Graham Burns in his core sound Mark III. Beautiful boat, and in light winds, he's got a cloud of sail up and just eaten my lunch, which would be only wrong if it wasn't exactly what you'd expect. Beautiful boat. And there goes Graham, passing me like I'm standing still, which I almost am. Day two of the OBX 130 on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Today is what we call a drifter. Almost no wind. The tide is pushing me along at about a knot and a half. But we aren't going far today and I got no place else to be. So, I think I'm pretty okay with it. Sailing might be a bit more fun if we had a bit more wind. But, you take what you can get. This is what you officially call becalmed. 
I am sitting dead still and there is not the slightest whisper of wind. Robert in his Mayfly and Curtis in his AI are down there. I think Steve Dahl and his TI may have fired up the engine out that way. Um, John Judy over here in his Montgomery 15 has definitely fired up the engine. But otherwise, we are sitting dead still. No steerage way, not the slightest whisper of wind. Looks like it might be time to fire up the iron horse. And we're sailing again. Not real fast, about two and a half knots, maybe half five knots of wind. Um, the storm system over here clearly starting to cause a wind shift. Um, wind speared around about 45 degrees. Uh, I can just kind of make the ley line to Shackleford Bank. May have to tack up. Um, but uh, at least we're not becalmed anymore. Hooray! So here we are at anchor in the middle of a big storm. And I think that's John Judy's Montgomery 17 anchor light over there. I'm in the Potter cabin, bouncing around here at anchor. I stuck my umbrella out the hatch cover to deflect all the rain that was coming in. It was a uh, I was actually sleeping pretty good. Aside from all the noise and the rain, which eventually woke me up. But everybody's been exchanging messages on Facebook to, to tell each other that we're all okay. Which I guess is a good thing. But it isn't the most comfortable night's sleep. Hopefully this rain will let up soon. Bye-bye. And we have some visitors. Wild Ponies of Shackleford Bank. Good morning. We're on day three of the Outer Banks 130, and once again, I'm basically becalmed. Last night we had a storm, it was blowing 40 knots, and this morning got absolutely nothing. Just glassy water as far as the eye can see. Got Robert Harden and his Mayfly up ahead of us. He's so light he can ghost along on a fair sized sneeze. Way back behind us, we 
We've got Bill Moffat and John Judy who kind of have to stick to the channel. And the Hobie Cats and Graham Burns. They're all kind of sticking to the channel. One of the only advantages that the potter has on them is that I can sail on a damp sponge. So I'm in about probably no more than 18 inches of water down to a foot coasting along here. Well, and here comes a little bit of breeze. Maybe we'll get to do some sailing after all. About uh, 20 miles to go. And we'll see you at the abandoned gun club. <laughs> Here we are again on the mill pond that is Core Sound. I'm not sure if it's possible to have negative wind, but I think we're close. Close to the fleet up ahead of me. For some reason, Graham's way behind me, but he could probably catch up any time, even without wind. Can't last forever, though. We'll get there eventually. the weather's about to get really frisky. Wind's blowing 20-25. About ready to duck into the hatch and hide for an hour. We'll see how it goes. We're anchored well, tied solid, so it should be no problem. Fair winds. Well, here I am in the cabin of the potter. It's raining like heck. Uh, things are pounding pretty good, but we're dry, we're comfortable, could be a lot worse. This isn't supposed to last more than about an hour, so hopefully it'll be over soon. Fair winds. knots here. Sails are full. Chips reefed a little. Darcy bringing up on the bow. Getting some whistling through the rigging. And the mayfly over here. Storm clouds have passed by us heading east so they're moving away. Clear skies this direction so we should be good for the remainder of the day.
and I think I'm dragging my centerboard. Here we are at the first reef. Reef tied in, a bit sloppy, but yeah, sail shape's not bad. We're following Darcy Brand. She tied her first reef in. Uh, Robert in the Mayfly was behind me. I saw him drop his rig. It looked like he was trying to reef. But I haven't seen the sail come back up, so. And the Hobies and Graham Burns and the Core Sound, John Judy and the Montgomery 15 are still behind us. They hadn't left yet when I departed, so they can sweep as they come forward, hopefully. We got about probably a good steady 15 knots gusting to maybe 18 right now. Wind's whistling in the rigging. I got the board down about, I don't know, quarter. Pretty shallow here. Although the rudder is fully down, so I could probably put it down a little farther. But not a long sail today and still under control. Hopefully won't have to go to the second reef. I don't think so. Fair winds. Day five of the Outer Banks 130. We're on the final downwind run to our starting point at Cedar Creek Campground. About four miles to go, probably an hour away. And we will put this event in the books for another year or two years. Just running with the main downwind, making a good steady four, four plus knots, surfing a little bit on the waves. Overall, it's been a good week. Most of the storms, storms struck at night when we were at anchor. Didn't really have to sail through any. And winds were light earlier in the week, but uh, freshened throughout the week. Nice, probably eight, 10, today maybe gusting to 12 but overall a good week and a great event we're gonna get back to the campground put the boats back on the trailers button everything up maybe we'll have lunch before we all head for our own corners of the earth but if this is it fair winds and see you next time